गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज करण सर यू एस एस टी टीचर आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ स्कॉटिस पब्लिक स्कूल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच क्लास सेवन सिविक्स इट इज क्लास सेवन सिविक्स चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड दिस विल बी लेक्चर नंबर टू सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई स्टार्टेड दिस चैप्टर डेमोक्रेसी एंड इक्वालिटी so please go to the page number 199 so it is democracy and equality the same chapter continue we will take it ahead today democracy and equality we have already discussed what will be the definition of democracy and equality so everybody please go page number 199 in the previous chapter in the previous lecture we discussed that there were a example of hari lal wagle hari lal wagle was a poor person he used to live in a slum area of morigaon it is a place near mumbai and there is a other place called mirabai colony mirabag colony where the people are having much better life than in comparison to the other area so today we are going to take this chapter ahead so today we are going to discuss more about the equality in a democracy that means what is equality equality means treating all the people of your society of your class of your neighborhood equally you have to treat everybody equally you cannot discriminate people on the basis of their caste creed color sex religion or anything you cannot discriminate people on their religion on their economic condition somebody is rich you are treating him very warmly somebody is poor you are not treating him well it means you are doing you are following inequality in the similar fashion in the last lecture we show that the mumbai Co municipal corporation was not treating both the places equally where in the mirabag colony there were all facilities provided by the municipal corporation electricity good schools hospitals dispensaries everything was there in the mirabag colony and the children of the, that that colony used to go into the private schools good schools but just a nearby place called moregaon that has no sanitation the facilities of water supply electricity there were no school only one municipality school was there and the people used to do different things they had to suffer a lot the living condition was not good so the people enjoyed very less facilities in compared to the mirabag colony so what inequality in democracy means the essence of democracy is equality it means if we talk about the democracy democracy means as i told you at since you are in class 7 you know what is the definition of democracy it is a form of government where the rulers are elected by the people it means we people we the citizens of a country of a state of a area we select or elect our representatives our leaders we gave we give them the power to rule but what they do do they really follow their morals their ethics their duties they do not do that so democracy is very much based on equality everybody has to be treated equally but you can see there are many people in your society in your village in your neighborhood suppose that somebody has big house they are having cars good sound economic condition if they will go to the 
near by public distribution system from where the grains are distributed among the poor people the rich people will go there they will be treated they will be provide giving uh, that shopkeeper will give him a chair to sit on but at the same time when a person who has no land he is living in a hut he goes to the same pds shop he is not treating him well it means he is discriminating those people on the basis of their economic condition rich are treated well in the society and the poor are treated ill we don't care about the poor people of our society we don't take them seriously we just scold them we don't talk they talk to them properly in the police station also those who are rich those who are having some sort of political connection they will go to the police station the police official will provide him with a chair but if a poor person who is victimized by the rich person in the society if he goes to the police station police will not talk to him properly because he is a poor person it means despite being a democracy the people of our society are not treated equally somebody is from the inferior community somebody is from the lower caste somebody is from the upper caste the upper caste people don't treat the lower caste people well somebody is from the hindu community somebody is from the muslim community they all are not equally treated everywhere where people are victimized discriminated on the basis of their caste creed or religion language so this is not the real essence of democracy democracy means everybody has to be the same laws has to be followed by this everybody in a democratic country like india any adult in irrespective of their religion class caste education is free to vote this is known as universal adult franchise it means our constitution has provided us the right to vote every person in india whether he is a male or a female is a girl or a boy if he is about the age of sorry age of 18 years he is he has the right to vote in the elections whether it is general assembly elections or the general elections he has the vote right to vote this right of voting is known as universal adult franchise so in this term we all are treating treated equally everybody has the right to vote but what happens when it comes to vote everybody all the political parties ask for the vote of every individual but they are not keeping their words they are not fulfilling their promises and the areas those who are very much connected uh, with the big cities they have all kind of basic amenities available but the village area the interior area where the roads are very dopplerable in condition even when the monsoon season goes the roads are not remain in same condition roads you cannot walk on the road in the rainy season you cannot drive your vehicle to those villages in the rainy season it is very difficult for the for the people the life of the people in village area becomes more even more difficult in the rainy season because the condition of the roads are not good and governments are not taking proper care as they are taking care of the good big cities so universal adult, adult franchise i don't need to explain i think it is the same thing that what has happened other forms of inequality in a democratic country like india equality and inequality coexist in india equality and inequality it means people are being treated equally and are not being treated equally at the same time how it is happening on one hand there is equality in the form of universal adult franchise on the other hand inequality is perpetuated 
through differences in incomes other forms of inequality also exist in india it means somebody is very rich rich is getting richer and the poor is getting poorer the person who has money is making money from money but those who are poor they are lagging behind they are sitting on the very bottom stair of the economic condition of the society so the most common form of the social inequality in india is the caste system one more very big issue is the caste system people still practice the caste system and they discriminate on the basis of the caste the scheduled caste of the dalit have long been treated unequally it means for a very long a period of time the dalit or the scst people were not given their rights even today in many places in india there are denied access to the facilities like potable water temples education and employment there are many parts of india where still the caste system rigid caste system is practiced where the upper caste people don't like the lower caste people and those dalit people are not entertained at the public places or the they are denied the access to the water temple education or employment system it means they don't keep or they didn't don't allow them to get into the temples get into the educational institutions so those things are very much of big concern dr bhimra ambedkar's point of view is given given here who believed in equality outlined his vision of an ideal society he has noted down his ideal society's view what is an ideal society according to ambedkar my ideal would be a society based on the liberty equality and fraternity it means according to the our great dr bhim rao ambedkar he liked the thing liberty it means everybody has to have the freedom liberty equality means all the people individuals of the society has to be treated equally anywhere and the fraternity it means the health relation good relation between the people of the society whether it is hindu muslim fraternity or you can call it in hindi fraternity means bhai chara it means a good relationship between different group of the people in the society an ideal society should be mobile and full of the channels which allow the changes taking place in one part to affect the other part in an ideal society there should be many interest consciously communicated and shared it means in societies we have to take care of each other if somebody is suffering other people from the society should go there ask his pain what is your problem let me help you so this is the responsibility of every individual in the society we should take care of that this fraternity which is only another name of the democracy democracy is not merely a form of government it is primarily a mode of living of co joint experience it is essentially an attitude of respect between the fellow men it means we have to take accept each other happily whatever merits and demerits we have in the individuals equality means the state of being equal fraternity means friendship for the mutual support within the group and other liberty it means the state of being free from all oppressions and op and opposition let's study a case discrimination here yeah? so we will start this section of the chapter tomorrow in the next lecture till then bye bye and i would like to tell you one thing that you have to make the multi choice questions a b and c i would like to see these homeworks done today in the evening send it in the group so that i can check it thank you have a nice day